I've been working in uh, strand two of the Expressive Arts AOLE, um, defining a rationale for the um, AOLE and the, the scope and content for the subject. I have in between uh, meetings, um, I've been returning to school and meeting with other teachers who teach within the Expressive Arts in school and um, trying to establish new schemes of work for September 2017, whereby we um, use the principles of Donaldson in order to, to plan for, um, for, for, for Year 7. We looked at big ideas and big questions and came to the conclusion that what matters seemed to be more appropriate for what we um, thought was important um, in presenting the, this AOLE to the students. Um, and we defined what matters into three pillars, um, which gave pupils opportunity to explore, uh, to create and then to evaluate their work. The Expressive Arts AOLE encompasses um, art, music, drama, dance, film and digital media. And so it was important to look at all these elements and what, what brings us together as separate subjects at the moment, but bringing us all together and what the common ground is between us to form this one AOLE. One of the ways our thinking has been challenged is the need to move the pedagogy and to shift um, from teacher-led um, work to pupil-led, so give the students more pupil voice in all that we do. The most productive part of the process has been the coming together of people from all different fields, from secondary and um, primary schools, um, and agreeing on the main skills that are important to all the subjects within the field. Moving on to strand three, it's important for us now to um, ensure that the progression steps are put in place, working with Qualifications Wales um, to, to do that work, and then rolling out the new ideas in school and seeing how, um, how the students react to this new pedagogy that will be put in place in the school.